This year at the North American International Auto Show, it is not all about the ground-based automobiles with four wheels. At noon, we got a peek at this unique vehicle right here. This is cool. Isn't it, though? Now business editor Rod Maloney is back with a closer look at how it works. Hey, Rod. Okay, uh, gang, raise your hand if you remember George Jetson. <laughs> because that's what we're talking about here. This is the stuff we've all been waiting for. And there are half a dozen companies here at the show that are trying to show off their wares. Big vehicles, small vehicles, the one behind me here is massive. But let's go out to City Airport. We traveled out there for the first time today to get a look at this. This might possibly be one of those things you'll always remember. The first time you saw an actual flying car. This is the X Turismo and it opens up a whole new world of commuter possibilities. Sean Borman runs Aero Auto who hopes to start selling them very soon. Either at a personal use machine or a vehicle like this that has so much um, uh, functional applications, uh, police, fire, medical rescue, uh, public works, pub, um, public service. To that end they allowed Captain James Davis of the Detroit Fire Department to try it out. Nice and smooth. I ride a Harley anyway, so it was just like riding a motorcycle up in the air. Back here on the ground at Huntington Place, we stopped by the ASX booth, ASX short for Aerospace Experience Technologies. We've got to do something different. Traffic is taking over our lives. Its CEO is Detroiter John Raminelli, who builds his massive cargo plane truck at City Airport. 1,200 horsepower, 6,600 foot-pounds of torque, more torque than 12 brand new Corvettes, right? I mean, this thing's a beast. I mean, it's got some real power. It'll fly 100, 0 to 150 miles an hour in under eight seconds. I mean, this thing's a rocket. And back out at City Airport, this thing was a revelation. Do you see yourself riding this to work one day? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Why? I got 14 days and I'm retired. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Well, he understands they're not coming until about 2024, maybe 2025. But one of the things they're talking about with this vehicle is being able to do what they call intermodal, which is, in other words, like take it from the factory uh, to the truck and then get it up in the air without having to go to the airport. So lots of interesting possibilities here and a lot of fun. Make sure you stop by this one and there are half a dozen others. There's one that you actually sit in that you could drive and fly down at the far end. So you can check that out when you get here. Devin, back to you. We have you're right. We have dreamed of this day. Although yeah. I believe it, it all shrunk down into George Jetson's briefcase, didn't it, Rod? At one point. <laughs> that, yeah, that, we're, we're about 50 years we're away from there. that. Yeah. A little ways to go. I love it. All right, Rod.